a month ago when I got a bunch of my monthly subscription boxes in the mail that I would start doing hauls and that just happened to be the day that I got all my boxes. So I hadn't gotten any until this week and now I have them and I've had a lot of self-control and I haven't even looked at them yet. So this is all going to be a surprise for me too. I'm going to do this video on one of my favorite boxes and that is Pop Sugar. I've been getting this subscription for about a year. This by the way is Jacob, in case you don't know this fella. He's a cutie, he's being my little buddy and hanging out while we film today. So I have no idea what's in this. This is from March 2017. Oh, I need scissors, I thought I was so prepared. Okay. I have an assistant today, so he'll be helping. Oh, I've got two assistants today. Hey Bailey. Thank you, my darling. Okay. So I have not opened this. This is this is a box that I really, really always enjoy getting. Um, sometimes they send things that I would like never really expect to want, and I end up really wanting it and being excited about it. And sometimes, like you know, these boxes are hit or miss. But I typically really enjoy what they give me. Okay, so we're gonna start with cinnamon churro marshmallows. Look at that. Marshmallows that are cinnamon churro flavored. They are not vegetarian. They have gelatin in them, which makes me a little sad. But I have some friends that will really enjoy this and maybe someday I'll like kind of do my not vegetarian thing and eat marshmallows. <laughs> this is like my biggest weakness. Um, and I'm a pescatarian. I shouldn't call myself a vegetarian. I do eat fish, like shellfish and things like that. But technically, gelatin still freaks me out. So even though I love marshmallows. What is this? Small album, big picture. I love, I love that. I feel like the stuff from Pop Sugar makes me feel kind of like a fancier person. Like, I feel like the things they send always kind of look upscale and pretty. And like if they send jewelry, I feel like they actually make me like look nice. Or they send stuff like this, which, can you see that? It's just a really, it says a Kate Spade. I would never buy this for myself. Like I would never ever. And now it's coming to me and I own it so I can like look, be like nicer seeming in a home than I would normally do for myself. So I think that's neat. Um, let me show you this up close too. Oh, that looks amazing. I know, right? Okay, well, what's next? Thrive Cosmetics Brilliant Eye Brightener Highlighting Stick. Okay, I'm gonna be super honest. I probably, Maybe we'll not use this. I don't know. I've gotten stuff like this before in like makeup boxes. And I know other people use them, so I don't think it's useless. I'll probably use it once. But I probably wouldn't have this in my regular makeup routine. Let's see. So there's that. What is it? You put it under your eyebrows and it makes it, it's like a brighter thing, but I don't really need that extra. I just use eyeshadow or whatever that's, that I have with me already. I don't need like an extra thing usually. Oh, what is a this? Box. Is that a lunchbox? I thought it was a purse, but this is probably. Let's see what it does it say. It's a purse. Camera crossbody bag? <gasps> what? What? I think it's a camera bag. What? Like, I love this box. It's so good. Oh, it's a little glossy. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I was very excited, and now I'm like looking at it, and I don't know if I'm as excited. I think it's pretty. Yes, it's very pretty. It's glossy. It's glossy. I didn't think it would be see-through. Why do you um, not want it to be see-through? I don't know. It wasn't what I was expecting. It felt like adjust my expectations. <laughs> but yeah, so it's a bag. I feel like this would be more a thing that I would pass along to Bailey. But I do need a camera bag, so keep that in mind. All right, sugar. it's ready for lunch. <laughs> This is really, really, really stinging cute. Let me look at this. Okay, so there's one of these things, which I've used these things before with my kids' lunch boxes. I don't love them because I feel like they're hard for the kids to open. This one's actually pretty easy, but that's my little hesitation on that. But this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Sunny Life Eco Lunch Box, contain yourself. Feels like it's made of recycled or bamboo. Let's see what it says. I love that they give me this little list that explains it and tells me how much money it costs. So I can be like, ooh, look at how much money I save. It doesn't say what it's made of, but it feels, it feels like those toys 
that they make out of recycled materials. Smell it, mommy. Smell it. It would be nice if it smelled like watermelon, huh? So it's just like, it's a box like this. I don't think you can call it a bento box because it doesn't have like the lines in it, but maybe you can. Maybe it's a bento box. What's a bento box? It's like small compartments where you can compartmentalize your food without using extra things. So that's how you use that. I really like this. I'm gonna test my kids right now and see if they can open these. Here, actually let's start with it put on. I had some like this, I thought they were great. And then the kids, it was just like, ended up not working because it was too hard for them. Okay, go ahead. It's a nice plastic, isn't it? Softer than the one we had. Okay, good, now put it away. Easy. I'll hold you to that. Are you guys down in for this? Who gets the lunchbox? My See, they're kind of tricky. Could you do that if it had food in it? You wouldn't worry about spilling it. 